In this video, we are going to learn all about circumference. Now this word circumference has to do with circles, and what it is is the perimeter of a circle. In other words, the distance around a circle. So for this small circle, the circumference would be the length all the way around the circle. So it was discovered a long time ago that if you figure out the circumference and the diameter of any circle and divide those two numbers to make a ratio, that ratio is the same for any circle, no matter how big or small it is. So if you were to measure the circumference, like perhaps you had a piece of string and you used it to cover the circle and then unwrapped it and measured it to find its length, and then also measure the diameter of the circle. The result is always this number that's about 3.14. And that number was defined to be the number pi. So the ratio of circumference over diameter for any circle is pi. And this little symbol here is the symbol for pi. Pi is a Greek letter and it actually stands for a number. Again, it's this number that no matter what circle you're looking at, its ratio of circumference to diameter is always the same number, and it's about 3.14, but it goes on forever. It's an irrational number, which means it can't be represented by a specific fraction of two numbers, and we often will just approximate it as 3.14. Your calculator probably has a button for pi as well, but the biggest thing that you should remember is that pi stands for a number as opposed to a variable like x. So what people figured out is that this ratio of circumference to diameter is always the same number pi. So what this means is, now that we know what the number pi is, and we can pretty easily figure out the diameter of circles, we can figure out circumference based on diameter and pi. So because circumference divided by diameter always equals pi, if I cross multiply this, I get that circumference equals pi times diameter. And this will always be true. And this is the typical formula that you will see for computing circumference. Now there's one other way that people will often show the formula for circumference, which is that circumference equals 2 pi r. So where does that come from? Well, the difference between these two formulas is that in one, we have d for diameter, and in the other one, we have 2 r, where r is radius. And these formulas are equivalent because the diameter is 2 radiuses. Remember that a radius is the length from the center out to the edge. So the diameter is actually two radiuses. So you can think about the formula either way. Sometimes it depends on what information you're given in the problem. But just remember that they're the same. Oftentimes you'll want to leave your answers to problems in terms of pi. So for example, if you knew that the diameter of a circle was six units long, then you would say that the circumference was six pi units long. It's just a little bit easier than uh, having to round with decimals. It looks neater, but it sort of depends on the context. So look to see if the problem asks you to give your answer in a specific way. Sometimes it will say to leave your answers in terms of pi, so then you would have an answer like this or you could approximate the number for pi about 3.14 and multiply it out to get a approximate answer.